welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lena. I'm a senior medical student about to be graduated and I just filmed a get ready with me video and I'm meant to do an intro at home after I got ready and all but I ran out of time as always. So I'm doing this while I'm going to the movies. So I got ready for going to the movies and I also have a dinner that I have to go to at night. So today's gonna be a long day. We're gonna start this video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Here it is. Hi guys. I just applied my skincare and sunscreen. I use the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense Sunscreen and I've been using this for over an year now and I really, really like it. It's like a lotion texture. It doesn't really make your face white or anything. It's just like a regular lotion. It's very moisturizing. So I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to to apply foundation. This is the Lancome Thing Miracle and in the color P01 and I'm using this Taiso Puff and this Taiso Puff is very famous among Korean beauty YouTubers I believe. So I'm gonna shake this and then apply like a little bit on my hand. I don't like to apply like a bunch of foundation. Dabbing it all over my face. I just love the scent of Lancome foundations. I mean, they just have the best scent. Not that I've used a lot of foundations before, but I just really like the scent. I hate like those like cosmetic type of scents, like perfumey ones, but this one just smells like... Um... That was a call from Incha and I only have like 25 minutes to get ready, so I should really hurry up using this damp puff I'm going to apply it all over my face yeah that's about right maybe I should apply like a little bit more under my nose where I have redness next we're gonna contour my face I'm using the Innisfree my palette and I'm using this color right here and I'm going to contour my nose to give some more dimension to my face by the way i'm not like a professional beauty youtuber or anything this is just what i do and you guys request to get ready with me videos a lot and i think these are very fun to watch these are one of my favorite videos to watch so if this one goes well i think i will film other get ready with me's because i do have to get ready every single day right today i'm just gonna do a very natural well, every day is natural for me, but like a very natural kind of makeup. And then and I'm also going to contour like a little bit. We're going to move on to eyes. First of all, I'm going to apply this powder from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Pressed Powder. I don't have the new version of it. If I run out of this one, I am going to buy the new one, but I don't think I'm going to run out of it in quite some time and here because I wear glasses when I'm watching a movie like that and under my eyebrows for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier single eyeshadow in ginger and using this Innisfree eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna dab it all over my eyes this is my go-to eyeshadow. Okay, it's focusing. It's really kind of hard because my vanity is like right there. I'm only going to apply like a little bit more. The outer part of my eyes. And I'm also going to apply it underneath my eyes. I'm really in a rush now. Using this um, eyeshadow brush, contouring brush, with my Innisfree My Palette. Um, what color should I use? I think I'm going to use this one right here to give a little bit of more depth to my eyes. And using a fluffy, no, using this random brush, I'm going to blend it all together. All blended and Oh, I forgot to curl my lashes. I like to curl my lashes before I do like any of my makeup, but I forgot about it. I don't know if you can see it, but after I curl my lashes, even though I clean my eyelash curler like every single day, I always get like these eyeshadow marks. 
these are eyeshadow that are stuck to my eyelash curler and whatever I do I clean this I wipe this like really really super clean but I always end up having those kind of marks which sucks anyway moving on I'm going to put on some dark eyeshadow I think I am gonna be using this color right here apply a little bit just like an eyeliner because I am going to put eyeliner on top of it today I have a very long day I am going to the movies and going to lunch and then at dinner we have this how do you call it a thank you dinner for our professors since the exam is over and we're almost graduating kind of like a last dinner last gathering and I don't like how this eyeshadow is looking right now Okay, maybe I should blend it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it, it, it doesn't look that bad. Does it look that bad? I mean, it looks, it looks okay. Well, I am going to put on eyeliner. And this is from Lily by The Red. And I bought it because Sin Nim and Isabe, they're both very famous beauty YouTubers, Korean beauty YouTubers. And they both said that this one was oh gosh okay i'm not really good at talking and doing makeup at the same time this is so messed up okay oh god okay blending okay eyeliner is done and i am going to take a very flat brush and i'm, I'm gonna apply that dark shade once again because i messed it up i'm so not good at makeup this video is um, not to like teach you how to do makeup, it's just sharing with you guys and just filming whatever I can. With that said, maybe I should like add some sparkles. Should I? Should I? Mm, no, I don't think I'm gonna add sparkles today. But um, I am going to move on to... What is this? Mascara. Why am I so dumb today? I can't think of words. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is a Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara. This mascara doesn't smudge on me and it stays on for such a long time and it's not waterproof. I hate waterproof mascaras because it's so hard to remove, but this one is smudge proof and I don't really have a problem with that, so I love this one. And then I'm going to put like a little bit of sparkle underneath my eyes. For that, I'm gonna use my favorite sparkly eyeshadow, which is the Etihad House Muscle Mania. And we're gonna put a little bit like so. And I think I'm done with that. I have a runny nose. I'm gonna move on to highlight, highlighter and, bl and blush. I seriously have a problem today. Blush first. So for blush, I'm taking my Real Cheeky Party from Benefit. I love all of the colors here. Which one should I use? Um, I think I'm gonna use the Coralista. Oh, it's called yeah, Coralista. This is one of my faves. Then I'm putting on highlighter. This one from Innisfree. And I'm just gonna put it a little on top of my nose. T-zone. Oh my Cupid's bow. Yeah. That is it for my makeup. Now I'm going to get changed and do my hair and I will be right back. There's like actually nothing really special about my hair. I'm just gonna put on this L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. And this is my go-to for hair. Hey guys, so I forgot to show you the outfit and my lips. I forgot to put on lips, so I put on this Peri Pera lip tint for my lips and for my outfit i'm wearing this cream sweater with um ribbons kind of like a ribbon kind of thing going on it's hard to show on camera but i'm wearing this sweater from zara and we are on our way to the movies right now so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching subscribe if you aren't already and like this video if you liked it thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys